Welcome to a brand new tutorial. A while back, I did a video on camera projection, and today we're taking that a step further. We're diving into UV extraction in DaVinci Fusion. Sounds fancy, right? Don't worry, it's not as intimidating as it sounds. Kind of like pineapple on pizza. Surprisingly works once you try it. Now, this technique is similar to camera projection, but with a few twists. You will need a camera track for this. And heads up, the camera tracker node only exists in the studio version of DaVinci. So if you're using the free version, well, you're out of luck unless you've got some external plugin magic going on. If you're unsure how to do a camera track, I've already got a tutorial covering that. Go check it out first and come back. All right, let's jump in. So first, I'm exporting my tracking data. This gives me a nice little setup to work with. And yes, I'm gonna do what every fusion artist pretends to do, but rarely does. Organize my nodes. If we take a look at the 3D space, we can kind of tell the grass is chilling here. The buildings over there, everything's just vibing. Right click the viewer, go to camera and pick the camera 3D. Now we're looking through the actual camera. I'm gonna turn off the ground plane for a clearer view and scale down the point cloud because it's currently blocking my entire life. Now I'll select a few points, right click, and create an image plane, just like we did in the first camera projection tutorial. This helps us drop the image right where it needs to be in 3D space. Let's delete that extra merge 3D node. It's just hanging out doing nothing and connect our image plane to the main merge 3D. Switch to the perspective view and adjust the image plane a bit. Set X and Z rotations to zero so it lines up nicely with the building. Then let's scale it up so it covers all these doors because doors deserve attention too. Select the camera and unlock it. Then go to the Image tab and uncheck Enable Image Plane. Next, switch over to the Projection tab, enable Camera Projection, and set the Projection Mode to Texture. Next up, we need a Catcher node. Think of it as the catcher's mitt for your texture. Connect it to the Material Input on the Image Plane. Boom, Fusion now knows where to project. You should have something resembling a real setup by now. If it looks like chaos, you may have missed a step. Let's click the Render 3D node and change the render type to Hardware UV Render. Now your projection should be nice and stabilized. But heads up, it'll stretch to match your comp resolution, 1920 by 1080 in this case. So we fix that with a Transform node. In that node, click Use Size and Aspect and adjust the Y size to match your plate. Eyeballing it works fine. This ain't NASA. Now for the fun part, let's slap some text on the doors. In DaVinci Resolve 20, there's a shiny new multi-text node. It's like the Swiss army knife of text nodes, so we'll use that to write something cool or something dumb. To blend it in, we'll use a Luma keyer. Switch to the alpha channel and tweak the sliders to get that nice contrast. It's the same trick from my camera projection tutorial, so if you watch that, you're already halfway to genius. Then, connect the mask input of your merge node to the Luma keyer. If the text looks too sharp, no worries. Add a blur node and set it to 1.1, just a touch. All right, so how do we actually use this setup? You'll need the same camera, a merge 3D, a render 3D, and the same image plane. Connect your image plane and camera to the merge 3D node. Then plug the material input of the image plane into your stabilized setup, basically your texture. Add the render 3D node at the end. And because we messed with the transform earlier, we need to invert it now. Copy the transform node, paste it under your graffiti text or whatever you added and click invert transform. Everything lines up like a well-rehearsed boy band. Now we just need to merge the background below our projection. If you're not seeing the text we added, it's probably because the inputs are flipped in the merge node. You can change the operation in the merge node to under or just flip the inputs by pressing Command T on Mac or Control T on Windows. And just like that, we've projected text onto a moving shot using Hardware UV Renderer. The method I showed in my first tutorial still works great, but stabilizing everything before adding elements can make your life way easier, especially if you're doing more complex stuff. If you've got questions, drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that good YouTube stuff helps the channel a ton. Thanks for watching and happy compositing.